Carry on, carry on. That's all I ever hear. I'm tired of that. I want to go home. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about why we should continue to carry on. Okay, so another song from Servant's Heart called Carry On. I love that group. Okay, so I gotta, we got to print a retraction. I said in the last video from the Save, Save, Save video that they, Jeff and Robbie Eklund was in the band Nehemiah Band, and they actually weren't. I found out that today. So, uh, retract. <laughs> okay, so aside from that, that's uh, the song you were hearing in front of the uh, in between the intro and this was a song called Carry On, and it's a really uh, exciting song. It talks about David in the lion's den and things like that. So uh, if you don't have a copy of yours, you need to get it. And um, just email us at morris.pec at gmail.com, and we will make sure that Jeff and Robbie get the message that you want a copy of that. It's good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to talk about why we should carry on. All right, and in 2 Chronicles, this is one of my favorite verses. 2 Chronicles 15, 7, it says, But you, be strong and do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. We're going to get rewarded if we just keep pressing on. What else do we have to do? Are we just going to give up? Okay, of course we're not going to give up. And the thing is, is because God's got to work for all of us. And if we just give up and go on our way, you know, we're going to be like um, missing out on so much. All right. Jeremiah 29, 11. Everybody knows this verse pretty much. If you've been in the word for at least a year, this is a scripture that you've run across. And if you're doing the Shiloh Bible Institute studies, you're definitely going to run across it because it's one, one of the basic uh, verses that we all learn in uh, Shiloh Bible. And it goes, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. <clears throat> they are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And that's in the New Living Translation. Now the, the King James Version says, For I know, you, know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an ex expected to give you an expected end okay so god has got a plan for you and if you just give up then his his plan can't be fulfilled because the thing is you you may say you know you know i'm going to skip that this time god will find somebody else the thing is he had a plan for you there's a purpose why he had it for you not for anybody else but for you so don't give up. Continue to carry on in your ministry or whatever you're doing. Even just if you're just a Christian that's walking along, don't give up on what you're doing because we're all just not Christians just hanging out. That's not what we were created for. We were created for one purpose and one purpose only, to serve God. Whatever his plan is for us, we have to continue on. Sometimes we don't know those plans for years down the road. So just keep praying for your purpose, okay? I'll, I'll kind of give you an idea. Back in 2006, when I was uh, in between jobs and I was getting kind of frustrated because I was 36 years old and I had no retirement. I, have no I had no education other than a high school diploma. I had 11 years of military service. I'd given that up years before. And I was getting to that age where I had to make a decision whether I was going to go back in the military, at least just part-time to the National Guard, or just turn my back on it and, and just continue to do the work I was doing, which I was only making back in those days $8 an hour. I had no retirement, nothing, other than I was hoping that Social Security would be around. But I saw what my parents were living on as far as Social Security, and that was going to work for me. So I contacted a recruiter in the National Guard, and I thought, well, if I can at least just finish out the last nine years, one week in a month, two weeks in the summer, then at some point 
I would have at the end, at least at the age of 60, I would have a retirement. And the big, big thing was the medical. Um, because if you know anybody that's over the age of 60, uh, it's very expensive. And so um, I was looking for a medical retirement it is, it is, along with some kind of a monetary retirement. Well, I got back in the National Guard and about a month later, I got offered a full-time job. And, you know, through that, uh, worked into a very nice paycheck every month. And in two years, and this was 12 years ago, and now in two years, I retired with a full military paycheck for my wife and I and full medical benefits for my family and I. So the thing is, is um, just obeying what God had for me at that time brought me to this point to where we're at today. And, you know, this is going to really uh, pay off for us because um, Ann and I do not take any kind of a, an income from the church at all, from PEC at all. And we're not going to have to when we retire either. And so we're going to be able to devote pretty much full time to PEC and not have to worry about taking any kind of a paycheck. And uh, because the, the military retirement will take care of everything pretty much. I'm also going to college as a business major. And it's all being paid for by the National Guard. And if I wouldn't have um, done exactly what God had asked me to do back, in, back then, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I only have a year left of college and I've got a bachelor's degree. So I, I, I'm telling you, if you just keep going and just do what God asks you to do and keep carrying on, things are going to work out. Okay, I can remember a long time before 2006, I was so depressed I mean, I was really depressed, and this was back right around 99, um, right before the year 2000, and I had seriously considered suicide, seriously considered it, and um, I, I chickened out, and I'm glad. I'm glad I did, because today, um, you know, things got a whole lot better, and God told me at that point in time, do not do this, because I have a plan for you. And um, I was at my lowest. And you know what? God pulled me out of there. And here we are today. I've, I've got a beautiful wife, a beautiful daughter, an awesome son. And um, I'm almost to the point of retiring. So I'm telling you, if you're in that position to where you're just at your lowest, that's when you need to be on your knees. And you need to get with God and carry on. God bless and may the blessings of the Lord shower you today. And I want to say, subscribe to our channel and continue to watch. Thank you.